Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of NYC's and Just Michael. You want to say it like that for the future? That's, yeah. that's it's like a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have George a, Michael. We should be wearing a hat with an M on. <laughs> you are just Michael. JM. I'm J. You're JM. I'm George you're Michael. You're JM. Okay. Okay. Like J. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So we should stop. We're not. Yeah, you're just Michael. Yeah. Uh, but today, guys, we're checking out another sour. The first review of a Cascade sour in a long time. And um, were they at NBCC this year? I don't think so. Mm. Nope. They were. Okay. They were. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they've been a few times. They make loads of sours, but the thing with their sours is like they're really. Really sour. They live up to their name. Yes. And um, this one they had on Beardium and it sounded very interesting, so I thought I'd try it because it was a fresher Cascade sour, so I thought maybe it's not going to be crazy sour. Mm. Because I remember the first time we got a lot of their stuff over here in Denmark, some of the big 750s, they were like... Oh, sour, like, sour. It was like, drink a bottle on your own and you'll have a bellyache, pretty much. Because mm. yeah. it was like crazy sour. But this one also sounds really cool. So. This is the Cascade Brewings Primordial, Primordial Noir from 2017. So they do their Sang Royale or Sang Noir series. Let's see here, Sang Noir, Sang Royale. I will always mix it up. It is Sang Noir, where they do yeah. like a barrel aged sour, which is what they do with cherries. And this is a spin on that. So this is Prim Primordial Noir, it's a blend of Imperial Red Ales in bourbon and wine barrels, aged for up to two years with Bing cherries from the northwest of America and fall spices. Fall spices? Yeah, or well, they also say baking spices at one point. It's just winter spices and fall spices are yeah. the same thing. Isn't it? Cinnamon. Yeah, so like stuff. spices. It says yeah. it's had notes of bourbon, Pardon? wine, cherry, roasted malt, molasses, and baking spices. <laughs> baking spices. Well, okay. Yeah. I suppose cinnamon is one of them. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll It'll be fun to try this. So thanks to Hunter Beardium for the beer. I think they still have it on there if you want to try it. It'll be interesting to see. I think like spices in fruited sours can be quite nice actually mm -hmm. if it's done right. So especially in dark sours. Yeah, and it's it's strong. This one, by the way, it is. What's it? Eleven percent or something like that. Ten. Ten point seven maybe. Let's see if I can find it. I thought I saw it before. Yeah. Ten point five. Ten point five. That's a strong sour. So pours a. Well, yeah. very ugly brown. <laughs> yeah, very ugly, hazy brown. And no head. So yeah. I'm like thinking this is going to be quite sour. Mm. Uh, me too. Yeah. Uh, like you can get some wafts of like vinegary aromas already. Yeah. So I think yeah. like this is going to be puckering. Like my saliva is already like starting to go. Gosh. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's an ugly beer. <laughs> it is an ugly beer. <laughs> it doesn't look nice in the glass. <laughs> but let's see if the aroma... Changes our perception. <laughs> it's right? a butt ugly beer. It is. Yeah. Let's check it out. It's Ooh, it's like vanilla, cinnamon, cherry aroma. Yeah. Lots it's of bourbon. It's not like super tart cherry with like yeah. cinnamon and vanilla and and bourbon on it. Actually, there's a, since things reminiscent of the moonshine. Mm. That Michael yeah, a bit. Yeah. Like a little bit of that cinnamon vibe. But actually, the spice is not it's too well overdone. It's definitely sour. Yeah. A bit yeah it is sour. Yeah. But it's like this tart cherry with yeah, yeah, yeah. Tart spices. Cherries. It Vinegar. smells like the kind of Rodenbach style sours, yeah. the Flemish yeah. ones. It has God, a lot that's of. Okay. It does. It does. It, it, it's like the uh, one of the ugliest beers ever. It's yeah. like muddy brown. Yeah. But the okay. aroma really reminds yeah. me of like these Flemish Oudboins or Flemish yeah. reds, uh, like Rodenbach. It has like this very vinous, red grapey, oaky, caramely, lactic sourness. Mm. Yeah. But I, I don't think it smells like it the most sour Cascade beer. It ha definitely no, has it some smells, flavors. It smells really good, actually. Yeah, it does. And it's got like a little bit of a cinnamon, nutmeggy, allspice. There's mm. almost, uh, on that whiff there, I got things that remind me of Glück. Yeah, it's, I, sh I was just about to say, which I can is, smell yeah. a bit of red wine. Yeah. yeah. It's a uh, mulled wine, yeah. which is very popular in Scandinavia. Yeah. For yeah. A bit of bourbon, a bit of red wine barrels, actually. You yeah. can smell it. Actually, mm. the more I think of it, the more I'm smelling like mulled wine spices, like clove, cinnamon, yeah. allspice type vibes, mm. paired with a, a good amount of cherry. What they call uh, autumn spice, baking spices, I also I think that's, yeah. Yeah, it's that's what you associate with these kind of yeah. autumn, winter... Uh, Christmasy things. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Let's give it a taste though, it smells pretty interesting. Yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Where is sign? Yeah. Uh-huh.
Oh, that is, oh, that that is, is sour. sour. <laughs> I was about to say, it's not that sour because of all the spices. It is and then so it just wow. goes. Whoa! <laughs> it goes. Oh! But it's just, Whoa, this it's is, sour. This is lemon, not like lemon citron. That's what it's called. It is, this is just like pure, it is straight lactic sourness. Like, yeah. it's like. <laughs> oh my god, that's sour. Uh, or citric sourness. <laughs> wow. It keeps going. <laughs> Holy Whoa. shit. Woo, it's like the most sour red cherry you ever bit into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But the fun thing, that's always what you get with the first sip. What is citron called in... in lemon. Is that lemon? Oh, mm. yeah, okay. This is uh, lemon but it sour. But it is really sour. Really sour. But yeah. just the second sip already, you your palate slightly acclimated to the sourness. Yeah. And I'm definitely getting a lot of bourbon. Yeah. After. But it's still sour. But yeah, it's you get a lot of sour. the other flavors too. But you sense why this is bourbon barrel aged. Yeah, yeah that, to it, round it, it off. It really yeah. rounds off with some sweetness. Mm. I think the fall spice kind of falls a bit short. There is like a generic all spicy cinnamony, something like that. Yeah. It's so dry. But yeah, it's dry it's and oaky. Really but, dry but actually, and the, the, I think the spice, I'm glad that it's not more than it is. Yeah. Because it, it does have a little bit of a winter fall spice type yeah. thing, but it's not... not and to me it has like a gingery kind of spice mm -hmm. thing it's about it. It's actually not like, Almost like fresh ginger. Yeah, like fresh, super freshly grounded but, ginger. But see what happens when your palate acclimates to yeah. the sourness right now, it's just like mm -hmm. it's actually quite... It's, nice. it's still really sour and yeah. really, really, really Puckering. dry and yeah. It's certainly I, a palate. The size pressure. of the <laughs> bottle is... Yeah. This, this is a half a liter actually. It's one of the new half liter. Yeah, but yeah. it's okay. And they, they went for 750s before. I think it's good that mm. they're starting to show up like this yeah. instead. It's really sour. Big sour cherry, big oak, big cherry wood. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely caramel kind of undertones as well. It's as probably you one of the most like dry sours uh, yeah. you'll come across. It's also one of the most dry sours. But not so know. vinegar. Lord, it, it, no, it doesn't have that. It has a it's bit. not like that. Yeah, it's not like there, it, there's maybe a little bit, but it's not like that huge. Uh, vinegary, almost like undrinkable no. sourness. Not at all. It's more like sharp lemon or sharp lactic sourness. Because sometimes with these, they have that uh, acetic acid, which is like this almost like gastric vinegar type thing. Mm. It's too much. Wine I, don't think it, I don't think that's prominent. No, but you, it, it is there. Me, actually, it's, it's really balsamic, balsamic like, balsamic vinegar like. Actually, balsamic is sweet. Yeah, but yeah. it has similar vibes. Yeah. Perhaps. At least to but, me. But the sourness takes over. It's really fucking sour though. It is good. It is. It is nice. But yeah, that's it is. one of the things Cascade's known for. Like their beers are really fucking sour. Yeah. I think they it was are challenging. Nine, three, nine, two, I was thinking early nineties for this one as yeah. well. It's it's nice, it's like very cherry. It's it's like you took and for eleven percent or ten point point five percent super drinkable. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I think it's also because of all that sourness. But um yeah, it's really drinkable. I was thinking early nineties as well. It's kinda like you did a Flemish style sour with a little bit of a fall type spice and mm. then no, just not just vineyard notes from from the, the base itself from, from the barrels but also like that sweet kind of bourbon edge. So I was thinking like early nineties so as well. Yeah, 92, 92, 92 and a half, yeah. three. I was yeah. thinking like ninety two. Yeah. yeah, it's actually quite nice. And actually, the more you drink it, the the, the barrel or the, the sourness you get used to it. It's not that bad. Well, it leaves you a thing on your teeth. It leaves too. a sticky gloss yeah. as well. But not it, a it just reminds of on your lips, but it also leaves a like a, on almost the, like on drinking your coke, or almost like drinking coke. Yeah, Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. But it because that's also acid. It yeah. also just reminds you of like freshly ground ginger, mm -hmm. like that intense kind of. I see that. Sourness and spiciness, you just get. I'm more from. into the lemon. Yeah, but it's also like that, but like freshly ground ginger is just I can, so I intense. I can't see the ginger in this one. I can kind of see it, like ginger, yeah. allspice, yeah. cinnamon type mm. thing. Or nutmeg. The, the only I problem for me ginger. is that I think that the sourness takes away from the complexity. Yeah, I think when it's. It, when it becomes I, I too sour, it kind of. It t it, it I takes would rate away it higher if flavor. it was not this Flavors. sour. Yeah. But it will be interesting now you're warming your glass. Yeah, I think maybe it opens up. See. Yeah, mm. I think so as well. But as it is now, like 92. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Maybe going to a 93 or something. Mm. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's yeah, a pretty good is. sour. Yeah. Especially high ABV sour because they're yeah. not always that great. So. No, no, no. But if you guys have a chance to try the Cascade Brewing's Primordial Noir from 2017, let us know what you thought of it. 
Thanks a ton to Beardroom for this one. You can get it on the web shop still if you want to try it. Link for their shop is down below. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video. Cheers.